now testing me its microphone the Liberty 4MC in a noisy oh, previously it was a walkabout in a shopping mall this time it's a different environment people around me talking in close proximity so this is what it sounds like I'm now testing the Liberty 4MC in a noisy food court the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog Konnichiwa! In my last video, we talked about how the Soundcore Liberty 4 and C compares to the Liberty 4 and Space A40. But this time, we're gonna benchmark them against some competitors like the Earfun Air Pro 3, which is currently one of the most popular earbuds out there under $100. And in the premium range, we have the AirPods Pro 2. Obviously, it's expensive, but many of you requested that I look at where the 4NC stands against one of the most popular expensive earbuds out there. So here we go. So what's going to happen is first, we're going to have a series of side-by-side -side comparisons in terms of ANC, sound, and call quality. This means we're going to listen to some binaural sound samples, so put on your earbuds to hear the difference better. After the comparison, I will lay out the pros and cons of the Liberty 4 NC versus the AirPods Pro 2 and Earfun Air Pro 3. So now let's cut to the chase and quickly compare their active noise cancelling using some really loud cafe style background noise. In terms of A and C, the Liberty 4 and C actually managed to get pretty close to the AirPods Pro 2, right? I mean, it's kind of surprising given the huge price difference. The Air Pro 3 performed pretty well, but compared to the other two in this video, it wasn't able to cut as much noise in general. Now we're gonna compare their call quality using the same background noise as before, and some wind noise coming from this fan. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Soundcore Liberty 4 and C. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Airpun Air Pro 3. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the AirPods Pro 2 I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the sound for Liberty 4 and C. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Airpun Air Pro 3. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the AirPods Pro 2 running firmware 5E135. In quiet conditions, the Liberty 4 and C sounded great, although it did sound more boomy than the others. In noisy conditions with wind noise, it also seems that my voice sounded more intelligible on the 4 and C compared to the Air Pro 3, but they're both not as clean or as complete as the AirPods Pro 2. Overall, I will rate the 4NC at second place in terms of mic pickup with the AirPods Pro 2 taking first place. If you like to compare its call quality and active noise cancelling to other earbuds, do become a member for $1 per month or more. This gives you full access to my personal comparison tool, which you can use to compare earbuds A to B at your own time and at your own pace. Many people have joined up because they know that this is going to save them so much time being able to just cut through all the marketing and compare these earbuds remotely without visiting a store. So become a member like them, click on the link below to find out more. What about transparency mode then? Well, the AirPods Pro 2 still has the best transparency. I mean, not just among these earbuds. It's got the best transparency overall. 
period. In my opinion, the Earphone Air Pro 3 takes second place to the AirPods in this comparison, and the Liberty 4NC takes third place. Its transparency is quite usable in a pinch, but in my opinion, it's just not as transparent or as clean as the other earbuds. And now, the sound quality. Compared to the Earphone Air Pro 3, the Liberty 4NC is a bit more relaxed in the bass region, and the Earphone has bigger curves and spikes in specific parts of the treble range. This does give it a brighter tone compared to the Liberty 4NC. Now, some of you prefer that, but personally, I don't. I feel that it sounds a bit too sibilant for anything from listening to music or podcasts. I do prefer the more relaxed tonality of the 4NC, which makes for a less fatiguing listen. On the other hand, the AirPods Pro 2 is a bit softer in the bass compared to the others, but it has cleaner track separation, broader soundstage, and a fuller sound overall. To me, this makes the AirPods Pro 2 the best sounding earbuds in this comparison, followed by the Liberty 4NC, then the Air Pro 3. Listen to the following sound samples and tell me in the comments what you think. If you want to compare the sound quality of these earbuds to earbuds from other brands, visit loudandwireless.com's sound samples page, link in the description. Okay, so what are the pros and cons of the Liberty 4NC versus, say, the Earphone Air Pro 3? Some arguments I have for the Liberty 4NC is its superior noise cancelling and mic pickup, the fact that it's high-res certified and it supports LDAC codec streaming as opposed to the earphones aptx adaptive. The Soundcore apps also better, allowing you to customize its ANC, transparency, and sound in far more ways with EQ presets, graphic EQ, or Hear ID sound calibration, a feature that automatically tunes the earbuds to the sensitivity of your ears. By comparison, the Earphone app is functional but not as sophisticated. I mean, the most I can do about the earphones' sibilance is to minimize the 1 kHz and 8 kHz band in its graphic EQ, and it still sounds a bit too sibilant. What I did prefer about the Air Pro 3 though is number one, the fit. It just sits in my ears far better than the 4NC. Maybe it's the size of the buds, but they just feel more snug in general. Multipoint pairing is also more stable on the Air Pro 3, with no problems at all switching audio, whereas the 4NC has a bit of trouble with multipoint pairing. Sometimes the audio doesn't come through when I try to switch devices. Also, the Air Pro 3 supports the latest LC3 audio codec. Simply put, with compatible phones, it streams audio which is as good as what we're getting now but over lower latency with lower power consumption. And it could potentially support oral cast in future if Earphone decides to bring that to the Air Pro 3 over a software update. Oral cast is revolutionary. I mean, if you want to know what oral cast does, watch this video, link in the description. Now, how does the 4NC compare to the AirPods Pro 2, aside from the price? The first advantage that the 4NC has over the AirPods is that Soundcore gives you much more flexibility, whether you're on iOS or Android, 
with the Soundcore app and the sheer number of ways that you can customize its sound. The AirPods Pro 2 is the weakest here in terms of sound customization. Because of Apple's big emphasis on ease of use, it will automatically adapt the sound quality of the AirPods to your ears. But if you want to customize it in any other way, you only have very limited options on iOS and no options at all on Android unless your phone happens to have global EQ settings like the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. But there is a reason why the AirPods Pro 2 are still regarded as top-tier earbuds. Its performance is still quite hard to beat in terms of ANC, mic pickup, and sound, and especially its transparency. So it's doing all the basic things very well. It still has one of the smallest cases around, which also makes it extremely portable. And if you want the ability to share your iPhone's audio with another person, you can't do it with any other brand of earbuds. You have to be using the AirPods. In fact, both of you, both you and your partner, have to be using the AirPods for you to share the audio from your iPhone. It's one of the main reasons I still keep it in my rotation. But back to the Liberty 4 NC. Overall, the main reason I will choose the Liberty 4 NC is its active noise cancelling at this price point. I mean, I can't think of another pair of earbuds in the budget range with similar ANC performance, great app, and have decent microphone quality. So if those factors are important to you, you should definitely look at the Liberty 4 NC. So that's the long and short of it. Thanks for watching. To check the latest prices of these earbuds on Amazon, click on the links below. And if you want to see more reviews like this one from this channel, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. Smash like and share to show some love. Also, follow me on Twitter. I talk lots of trash on Twitter, but good trash, I promise. Link in the description. Now, click here to find out which are the best earbuds of 2023 or watch another video from this channel.